Hello. Welcome back for the last the last problem on the video uh, review for Math 201 Statistics for the final exam. Number 15 says, a student wanted to determine whether the wait time in the drive-thru at McDonald's differed from that at Wendy's. She used a random sample of cars in the drive throughs at both restaurants and clocked their wait time in seconds and conducted a test. The results are in mini, um, mini tab below. Uh, so we have, it's a two sample t-test because they're independent samples. Um, and A is asking that, is the sampling method dependent or independent? It's independent because there are two samples measured each separately, McDonald's and Wendy's. Uh, you can see the sample size for each, the mean, the standard deviation. Uh, you can also see the confidence interval here. And for the t-test, um, they did a versus and not equal, so that's going to tell us something. And then the p-value there, which remember we said when it says zero, 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 it's just so small, they couldn't write the number. So let's go through the list. It says, how many McDonald's wait times were sampled? And there were 30. You can see that here, the N. What was the mean wait time at McDonald's? 133.6. What was the standard deviation at McDonald's? 39.6. How many Wendy's wait times were sampled? 27. What was the mean wait time at Wendy's? And that was 219. And remember this is seconds that they had to wait. So that's just over three minutes. What was the standard deviation of wait time at Wendy's? And that was 103. What was the average wait time difference? And that's right here, the, the estimated difference. So a negative 85.5. So that means they must have taken McDonald's and subtracted Wendy's. So um, 103. 33.6 subtracting 219. And rounded. Okay. Then um, I said, which hypotheses are being tested? And it's a not equal to. So it's this one here. State the test statistic and circle it. So the test statistic is the T0, and that's the negative 4.06. I'm circling that. Right there, I circled it. State the p-value and box it. So I'm supposed to box that in. So we're going to put a rectangular around that. And that's the 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So it's very, very, very small. And then letter L says, use the computer output again to do step four. So we're going to draw our circle. And because it's a not equal to, we're shading on both sides. And our P value, well, actually, it's, you should barely even see the shading because the P value is so small. And it says if the researcher set alpha at 0.1, would the results be statistically significant? So that's where we put our p-value compared to alpha. And our p-value is essentially zero, which is definitely less than 0.10. So yes, very significant. Um, and using that alpha, what conclusion would be reached? So we would reject H0. That is the same as saying it is significant. And because we're rejecting H0, there is sufficient evidence. To support the claim. that the wait times are different.
And then O says, do the box plots of the data support the results obtained above? And I would say yes. And you can see that because McDonald's is very much lower and they're, um, it's more smaller as far as the standard deviation compared to the wait times at Wendy's. And I hope that this review was helpful. Reach out if you have any other questions.